All right, guys, today we are doing a carburetor, fuel lines, and primer bulb on a Poulon Wild Thing. It's a model 2375LE. Any of the parts that you will need will be in the description below. It's a whole kit that comes for these, everything you can need for it. Um, fuel lines, primer bulb, um, carburetor itself, spark plug, air filter, gaskets, fuel filters, um, you know, everything you need to get, you know, it's, it's everything you need to do this job is in this kit. I'll put it in the description below. Um, just click the link. Super cheap. I use them all the time and they work. So, all right, so first thing we're going to do, torque 25 or a flathead screw. You've got one here, one here, and one here. Take those three off. Remove the cover. Same with the recoil. You've got one, two, three, four torque 25s. Take those off. The recoil, that way you can get to the primer bulb. <laughs> Look, this primer bulb was replaced, but uh, they didn't use the right one. It's supposed to be this one. It worked though. Whatever, it worked. Take two eight millimeters, remove them. You're gonna pull right off of here, but there's like a little tab that's right in here that's kind of gotta pry up first, like that. And then this comes right on out. Like so um, go ahead and remove this rubber bit here. Comes comes right off. It's just a pain in the butt. You gotta pull it off. Don't worry about where the fuel lines are. We're going to replace them. So just, you know, rip them out of there. Get them out of the way. Um, you'll notice that they've got the thin fuel line from the left going under to get to this. And then the right one going under to get to this. I swap them around. Much better way to do it. Um, and I'll show you that. Um, so now you're going to pull this choke arm up. Squeeze the throttle and pull this forward at the same time it'll come right off those studs off the studs you can turn it at an angle and it'll come right off that throttle arm and that was the line that was broken or leaking it was the fuel line for sucking it through eh, that car may work but i mean the kit's so cheap we're just putting all new one all right so we're just going to go ahead and uh you know cut these lines Get out of them. Get them out of here. Um, no big deal. We're just getting them out of here. That one's got the filter. Cut it. Shove it back down through. All right. This one. This one should pull right out. Most of the time you get these in there. The fuel lines are just crumbled in there. Um, there's a gasket that goes right here. It's still on that one. We're going to leave that. It does come with a new gasket, but since that one's still on there, we're fine. The new gasket, if you use it, the little pinhole goes up. That's your vacuum port that runs your fuel pump built into your carburetor. Pop off the fuel tank cap. Pull the old gas out. Get rid of it. We don't want it. Reach inside with some needle nose. Grab the old fuel line. Pull it out with the filter. Get it out of there. Then I'm going to use air, blow it all out, make sure there's nothing left over inside. Everything nice and clean. We're going to take the big fuel line, we're going to cut it into a point. I make a nice long point out of it, makes it easier to grab. All right, so then we take and we push the fuel line through that hole in the back. You'll need to use some needle nose once you get it kind of started to just grab it and escort it on down into the tank all the way down in as far as you can get it that whole length of cut part and then you'll find it once you got it in there you'll find it sticking out the back side down in you see in the back corner there's a piece of line Let's see if i can make it move oh. see it that's it right there you're going to grab that with your needle nose pull it right out of the gas tank all right, and then we're going to go ahead and cut this fuel line off. And then we're going to put a fuel filter on that line like that. Pull on this line and pull the filter back into the tank. And so it's still on the bottom, but kind of inside the tank a little bit. 
think about that part. That should be good. All right. Now this is the reason I'm doing the fuel filter line on this side. Is when you put this on, oops, I'm just going to lay it in place. This is the line that goes to the filter. So right there, boom, we're straight on shot, cut it to length. So that's our filter line right there. All right, we're not going to put it on yet. All right, thin line, grab the thin line. We're going to cut it to a point, nice long point on it. Nice long point on it, stick it down in there. Then we're going to feed this through all the way as far as we can go. Down in there. And then if you look through here, you should be able to see it. Nope, I gotta cut the point a little bit longer. Let's cut her longer. Longer than that. I've cut it longer. You can see it right there. We're gonna grab it with a needle nose and pull it just in about an inch is all we gotta do. We're not really trying to, uh, we're not putting a filter on this one. This is just a return line. So see we've got it in there, not connected to anything, it's just in there. Alright, this is going to go underneath the throttle, it's going to go to through this hole. This is the return line, that goes to the long nipple on your primer ball. So cut this right about here, go ahead and stab it on the long nipple. So we're going to take the choke arm off the old carburetor, it's just uh you know, a pair of needle nose, squeeze it, and it'll pull right out that side. I'm just going to push it on to the brand new. It'll just push down until it clicks. Like that. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and get the uh, the throttle arm hooked back up. It goes right in that hole right there. Like so. And then you just turn it. Sorry, like so. You just turn it in there. No problem. All right, so you're going to squeeze the throttle and line up the carburetor to those studs and push them on. Make sure you got that gasket little hole up top. So make sure the throttle arm is on the outside of that nipple. Right here, it's going to bind up. Make sure it's on the outside. So you have to draw it back and push it down around. All right, fuel line out from under all this stuff. Get around here, stab it on. This is your fuel filter line, goes to this barb up here. Stab it on, get it pushed in there nice and solid. And then get it kind of pushed off to that back corner where it's out of the way of everything. Um, now we need a small line. We can use the big, the big line. We need a small length to go from this barb right here to this nipple. So we're going to stab it on this nipple first. Short nipple. It's a suction. So it's going to suck fuel from the tank through the carburetor into the primer ball back into the tank. All right. So we're going to cut this to length where it'll fit on that nipple. Your needle nose. Grab it. Get down underneath there and stab it on that nipple the choke arm rubber piece is in its place like that all right we're going to turn this thing on its side we're going to get two screws um any kind of you know screws will work uh really tiny like you know uh drywall type screws uh you know we'll go it's just going to make its own thread and you're going to put them in there i, I got a bucket full of stuff i'm going to find a couple and get them set in there like this get them tightened down Put the recoil back down on top four bolts and here here they're torque 25s tighten them down we're going to put this cover back on remember there's this little lip here you're going to get it kind of set down into there two eight millimeter nuts Get them on, tighten them down. Fresh gas, put on the uh, gas cap. Prime it up. Make sure that this is priming. There we go, nice prime. 
it needs to be adjusted a little bit. Oh, all right, keep stalling out. All right, so more than likely this thing, it's, it's stalling out at idle. So we're gonna crank the idle in a bit. We're gonna give her a, you know, a high idle basically. So let's crank it on in. And then when you get it started and it's idle and high, the chain will be moving, so be careful. Just bring it out counterclockwise. The chain ain't moving. But it can be a little lower idle. Maybe around there. And then it wants to bog down. It wants to bog down. So this screw closest to the air filter we're gonna go a little bit counterclockwise now when you're holding it full throttle um, it should be just under that full rpm like just a little bit under that full rpm so you got the power that it needs to turn this chain through wood so you would bring this all the way up to where it screams and then come back down very slow you need to go clockwise till it screams and then counterclockwise very slowly until it kind of just drops a little bit underneath that and then that'll be about perfect. We're gonna go a little counterclockwise just to get rid of that bog. Plus, I, I'm actually very low. I didn't have any gas, so I'm probably sucking air at this point. Yeah, I'm sucking air. So. We pretty much got her adjusted. Let's throw a little more gas in, do some fine tuning in on it. Um, air filter, pop it in there. Yeah, make me up loud. Right here's oil, Robert. All right. And then um, this cover is going to go on. Oh, nope. We got to jam that little rubber boot deal in there. Um, it's a pain in the ass to get it in there. You'll have to use pliers and whatnot. And just get it jammed in there and on onto those bolts. Um, cover on, torque 25. Go ahead and tighten all three of those bolts down. There, now I got a little more gas in her. She's running perfect. All right, guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and all the parts will be in the description below. Just click the link. Um, if you want to do any advertising on my channel, message me. I'll be more than happy to have you. Peace.